Welcome back everybody to my channel and today I want to show you how to set up uh, your span analyzer. So first of all you need to download span, it's free. If you don't have it, grab it because it's a very useful tool. So what I want to show you today. Uh, first of all I want to show you my setup of span. I use Span in mid-side, um, what I mean? I mean that I can visualize uh, both the mid signal and the side signal. So in red you can see the mid signal and in yellow there's the side signal. How to set up this? Going here into this menu and select mid-side signal. What you need after that? You need uh, the setup that you like. This is mine, if you want to copy. Uh, you must save it. You can save your one by press this plus button and insert your favorite name. So span setup. Um, I have this span setup now, saved. Then you must go to the mid. Uh, by pressing this button you can alternate from the mid view and the side view. You go to the mid and you load your span setup. Go into the side and load your span setup. After that you must select what you want to show underlay the main view. Uh, we are in the main view of the side signal. Now I choose nothing underlay and we, we see only the side signal. Then we can go in here and select that mid signal under it. It's easy and you can do the same in the mid. And yeah, that's uh, very useful because you can see, uh, here I can see that I have a base sub base in the in the side signal and probably I don't want it so I can go in here in the base activate the mid side uh, option in uh, in the EQ8 of Ableton and apply a cut under maybe 100 or 130 so I cut that signal Let's go for the special effects of this video. The special effects is how to set up span to visualize different elements of your track. Um, just for example here, this is the stereo, okay? It's normal track. Uh, we have mid-side uh, signal summit, so this is my track. But let's for example that I want to visualize the piano and the bass. Uh, piano and bass. Let's delete this pan, delete this channel, delete this channel, delete this channel. What we need to do? Uh, first of all, you must group the part of the track that you want to analyze. Um, I group the drums, I group the piano, and I group the bass. After that, you want to create a new audio track. We need free because it's free part that we want to analyze. We rename it as in drums, in bass, in piano and we set everything uh, the right channel so in drums we need the drums group rooted to this channel and for this we need the bass and for this we need the piano after that we put everything in the in uh, mode and we route it to the master but not this master this master 
routed everything to that master. In the master channel, obviously, you need span. Okay, so grab it. Okay, uh, select uh, the fault stereo. Come back to this free track that we created and we route the drums to the span 3 4 and we route this to the span 5 6 and we route the bass to the span 7 8. After that, we must go into the span that we created. We must go into this routing menu, select in free on E and in 4 to F, in 5 to G, in 6 to H, in 7 to E and in 8 to J. Then we have group assignment, but before we go in into here, group name, drums, piano and group 4 is bass. As I show you before, for setting up the mid side, we just need to load up our favorite span setup for all these we need to load it for the drums to the piano and to the bass now we can select a color yellow for the drums blue for the piano and pink for the bass we are in the main a window of the bass and we want the piano underlay. Now if we press play we, we can see the bass and the piano only without uh, any drums that interfere. This is the bass and this is the piano. I deactivate this EQ that I apply before the video just for show you that uh, I can see that there is this part of the piano into my bass section and I don't want it so so much piano in this bass section so I have applied an EQ and as you can see it disappear. We have very less uh, um, amount of frequencies of the piano in the bass section, and this is a useful tool to visualize different part of your of your track. So, hope uh, that uh, this video helped you, and thanks for watching. Yeah. See you to the next video. Bye.